Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Herd. I am your host, LaRue, and this is the smoothest movement in the right direction. I am joined by Mrs. Michaela Eppers, and actually, AKA Mrs. America. That's right. Um, she probably has the <laughs> smoothest movement in America right now. So we're gonna try to just dive deep and, and inspire you guys in any way that we can. Um, so let's just dive right into it. I wanna talk about a little bit of your glory, and then we'll dive a little deeper, and we'll build back up to your glory. Deal, I'm uh, ready. <laughs> okay, so how often do you get recognized throughout here? Have you um, got like a celebrity status going on? It comes in waves, <laughs> yeah. I guess. I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Mm -hmm. uh, as When I won Miss Indiana USA back in 2014, mm -hmm. um, I did some similar appearances like this. Sure. Uh, and then when I went to Miss USA, I had some national recognition because of the shape of my body. Of course, of course. So of course. That, was, that was unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Mm -hmm. uh, I got... Um, we estimated I got a lot more attention media-wise, mm -hmm. um, nationwide, I mean worldwide, sure, honestly, sure. more than the winner who was Nia Sanchez, still mm -hmm. a very, very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Go and, Nia. Yes, go Nia, <laughs> from Nevada, but she lives in okay. LA. Okay. Um, she it was so supportive of the entire movement mm -hmm. because it was talking about sparking a, a healthy lifestyle and sure. really defining what healthy is rather than a certain size. Mm -hmm. So it was a great movement. Um, but when that happened, mm -hmm. I got recognized everywhere. I'm sure. It was very strange because mm -hmm. there's times when you just want to just, you know, you just want to just want to take the crown off and you just want to be yourself for a while and, yeah, yeah. and nobody asks you about your body or, mm. or the experience and you just wanted to talk about something else. And I just remember I'm in the middle of nowhere uh, after one of my brother's baseball games and I'm biting in this giant cheeseburger. And I mean, <laughs> giant cheeseburger. And I'm mid-bite, and somebody goes, excuse me, uh -huh. aren't you Miss Indiana? And I didn't even oh, sink my, my teeth into it, and I go, uh-huh. <laughs> she goes, can I have a picture? And I mean, they're just, I mean, I'm honored, but at that time, I'm just like, can I finish my meal first? Mm -hmm. And please don't take a picture of me eating, because that's what everybody tried to do. So well, let me go ahead and X that question out. Does <laughs> Miss America eat fast food? Yes, she yes. does. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly why, why I wanted to talk to you. There's definitely a grassroots connection to the people that you have. It's much bigger than beauty. Um, oh, yes. You. So how does that relationship feel to you? Being... I mean, the, the grassroots connection, I mean, because even like you said, um, mm -hmm. when you didn't uh, exactly win that year, mm -hmm. you still had controversy around you about your body. Mm -hmm. And you know, at first it felt like ridicule, but actually yes. it was it was kind of praise. Did it feel like praise? It felt like praise, mm -hmm. uh, but it's so funny that you ask us. I haven't been able to talk about this yet, mm -hmm. um, as it's only been a few days <laughs> yeah, since yeah. I've won. <laughs> you know, being able, people ask me how it compares mm -hmm. to competing mm -hmm. at Mrs. America, to Miss USA, and Miss... Miss America when mm -hmm. I competed the MAO system mm -hmm. and they are not comparable I mean they, there's uh, a lot of aspects that are comparable for me that have helped me mm -hmm. gain this title okay. um, but the difference is I truly feel that this time around I was myself I believe you and I saw that when I went to Miss USA I was not, mm -hmm. and so although it was great, you know, the grassroots, the praise, and mm -hmm. the and the, some of the controversy, mm -hmm. I was so hard on myself mm -hmm. because I, at the end of the day, I fell short of my goal, sure. and I lived with the regret knowing I didn't do it the way I needed to or the mm -hmm. way I wanted to. I was trying to be something that I wasn't, sure. and I was trying to be positive for the people around me, mm -hmm. and uh, it took me a long time to realize that I. I made I made the mistake, and I mm -hmm. knew that this time around I was not going to do that. And it mm -hmm. shows it pays off to just be yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly. Now I have to be honest. I haven't followed very many pageants. It's okay. I, I don't right, expect you to be I picked the right one to follow <laughs> yes, yes, because I, I truly saw your story as as a, a great one, one of a champion. And it's definitely if you if you get a chance, go ahead and Google Michaela Eppers, Mrs. America, right now, um, and and listen to her story. It's truly one of a champion. And now you have all these different projects and things, such as the Feather Project. Yes. Want to, want to touch on that a little bit? Yeah. So the Feather the Feather Project is something that uh, I turns out I've been living my life by since that moment, since mm -hmm. Miss USA. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's, I it just finally I was like, I just need to put a little name on it, a label on it. It's yeah, a message yeah, yeah. that I spread. It's, mm -hmm. it's something that I lived to my core. Mm -hmm. um, the Native American feather is really important to Native Americans. When you course, are named, you're given a feather. That's oh, uh, wow. something that's spiritual. It's, 
it is it's a it's a, a symbol of your spirit if you will sure, sure. and your goal is to live in equal balance with your feather mm -hmm. if you think about an eagle a native mm -hmm. american or a, a, a bald eagle if you will a bald eagle. it's strong it symbolizes i um, mean leadership strength mm -hmm. i mean harmony there's so many things that alone symbolizes mm -hmm. but if you look at one of the bird's feather yeah if you, th I mean, even just think about how it lays on the bird, right? Mm -hmm. There are two sides that we see all the time, and that represents our our uh, emotional sure. and our physical parts of our body. Mm -hmm. And the side on the other side that does mm -hmm. not show, and we don't, the same way we don't show everybody all the time, <laughs> is our mental and our spiritual. Mm -hmm. Those four things need to be in balance all the time. Mm -hmm. And with my health and fitness coach, when I speak publicly, when we have conversations like this, mm -hmm. I talk about the importance of finding that balance. Um, it's so important to me when my husband was diagnosed with cancer four months after he got married. Let me oh. tell you, that's not something anybody's prepared for. Of course, of He's course. He's healthy, we're doing well. Um, but when he defeated cancer, we finished chemotherapy, mm -hmm. he wanted a reminder, uh, he wanted something that he could remind himself every day mm -hmm. to live life to its fullest and the little stuff doesn't matter. Um, and so he got a tattoo mm -hmm. on his arm and it's a one line and it's uh, every year, uh, for the type of cancer he had, what it does is it, it's five years, it's a five year process to make sure we're 100% clean. Sure, and that's so, what we want. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. he'll get aligned for every year we're cancer free. Mm -hmm. um, and I went ahead and got my Native American feather. So I have it on my oh, wrist nicely done. to look at all the time. Nicely um, done. It's, it's kind of funny because you don't really notice it until you mm -hmm. notice it. Until you and told me. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Because it almost looks like a birthmark at a glance. Gotcha. Um, but I needed to see it every day. It's a reminder for mm -hmm. me. Um, this is my mission. And I uh, had this before the Feather Project was mm -hmm. created. Ah, gotcha. So it just, gotcha. it all works in harmony. It and all that's my message. came together. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all go through adversities and things like that. And yours are clearly stated in your bio. Yes. But I really want to know, just to inspire the people, what was that spark? Was there any motivations, any influences, uh, yep. your favorite song? What made you strive for greater than great? Because that's what yep. you are right now. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of a snot at the moment. Ah, gotcha. I simply wanted to prove people wrong. Oh, there you go. Wholeheartedly. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yes, I just wanted to prove people wrong. Mm -hmm. And that was the true, the, honestly, that was the true fire that was underneath me. Mm -hmm. But then I realized the importance of I wanted to prove myself. I yeah, wanted to yeah, prove yeah. to myself that I could mm -hmm. do all these things that I had envisioned and dreamed in my yes, mind. Yes. Uh, and you know, I had social workers and counselors and psychiatrists mm -hmm. and and all these people, you know, giving me every excuse not to be my best self mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. as a child. And I just didn't understand that. And there are so many kids with backgrounds like mine, worse off than mine, mm -hmm. that are also getting told the same thing, but for some reason, I don't know why that fire was lit underneath me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I just ran with it, and I've never stopped, and I hoped to light that fire for those kids who are still stuck in the mud, if you will. Sure, sure. So let's have some fun. Sure. I'll ask you a few quick questions. I'm going to fire them off quickly. Or, you oh answer boy. Them to Rapid the best fire. Of... Rapid okay. fire. You answer them to the best of your abilities. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? Um, I try to do affirmations. Mm -hmm. It's Really, it's really a, a big thing for me is just to, today's gonna be a great day. Um, I suffer from back pain, so my back is gonna feel good. I'm gotcha. gonna be energized, gotcha. and I am going to accomplish X, Y, Z. And that way I have a clear vision and I'm waking up on the right side of the bed and, mm -hmm. and to add some gratitude in there. Right side of the bed, take notes. Yep. All right, quickly, hot or cold? Cold. Starburst or Skittles? Starburst. Really? Pink. Fe Starburst, okay. Pink Starburst to be specific. <laughs> Pink Starburst to be specific. Favorite shoes of all time? No shoes. No shoes? I hate shoes. She hates shoes. Miss America hates shoes. Okay. <laughs> Favorite perfume of all time? You have to have one of those. I don't wear perfume. You don't wear, she doesn't wear perfume. I am the <laughs> Despite popular I am, belief. <laughs> the least glamorous girl unless I have a crown on. I, I love it. We're, we're getting to the meat right now. Uh, okay, if you were uh, to be stranded on an island for one year and you could bring three personal items, what would they be? Uh, probably a picture of my family. Mm -hmm. um, well, personal items? Yes. Not like practical? No practical items, no. I'm really close with my <laughs> roll of duct tape. <laughs> Well, that would probably be useful. And probably um, the flint that we used in my Native American wedding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nicely done. There. Nicely yes. done. You put that one. <laughs> Weekends or weekdays? Weekends. Oh, nicely done. Bathe or shower? <laughs> I hate both. I hate, I hate showering. I hate bathing. But I'll shower if I have to pick. Okay, now finish the sentence. The one thing I want most for the world is... To be happy. 
to be happy. That's a great answer. That's a great answer, you know? And happiness can come in many different ways. So yes. that applies to everyone, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, finish the sentence. My name is Michaela Eppers and I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> and also inspired. <laughs> inspired. Yes. Mrs. America. Yes, of course. Okay, so uh, with you, it's, there definitely seems to be a connection to the people. I love it, and that's why I wanted to talk to you today. Um, the people definitely have a feel for you, and, and as I watched your story, it felt like when you won, there was that Rocky moment when he climbed the steps and he got to the top. Exactly, exactly. So that leads me to my next question. What would your theme song be? Do you have a favorite song? Do you have something you listened to before? Um, you, know, I, you know, I used to be a radio DJ. And I, really? I love, yes, I love music. Nice um, I don't think I could ever pick just one song. Mm -hmm. So lately, um, on my iTunes radio, I have been listening to just um, EDM. I don't know why. Okay. I think it, I can understand I that. I like to dance. I like the emotion it sparks within me. Mm -hmm. I don't really have to listen to words. I simply just love just to feel the beat, and it energizes me. So uh -huh. that's the station, I gotcha. think. Gotcha. That, yeah. This so you recently put on uh, Facebook uh, that you, you were interested in starting like a, a group or a seminar and you, you polled the people to ask what they would like to talk yeah. about. And I actually came up with, with one. Or did you come up with anything first? Uh, I have a list of videos that I want to cover, I guess. Um, okay. I haven't had the time yet, gotcha, but gotcha. <laughs> actually I was looking at that list. Um, I was getting ready to just to compose and, and start that. So what, is, mm -hmm. what are you recommending? I, uh, what, what I, what I think we should study, uh, it would be like the rise in interest in science okay. and the disconnect, the constant disconnect that there always is, you know, that fear, like, uh, people always say, uh, do you like math? Like, oh, I'm not good at math or I'm not good at science, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely been a rise uh, in the interest in science. And yes. So I would like to talk about that and spread it to people because I believe that fear is only due to the lack of, um, doing it or studying science, yeah. you know, in, in many ways. Are you, a, are you a buff? Are you a science buff in any way? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> what is your favorite subject? What is Miss America's favorite subject? I love to talk. <laughs> That's all right. That's I love right. to talk. Uh, in high school, mm -hmm. I'm actually science and math. Oh my, my goodness. Homeworks. That's all right. And see, that's why it would be the perfect topic. Yes. I could definitely help you discuss that one. Yes, I, uh, I, big words. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, I, I simply love just to communicate with people. I love mm -hmm. to know um, why people think the way they think. I, I, psychology was huge for me in high school mm -hmm. and college. Actually, it was my major, and then I switched to communications. Sure, sure. Uh, and I, that's probably my that type of science, if mm -hmm. you will, is my favorite. Um, but as far as that, I, I guess I just... I had great teachers too. It's not that I had poor teachers that often gets blamed. Sure. I just, it didn't strike an emotional chord for me, I guess. Mm -hmm. How many times have you uh, won Miss Indiana? Um, I've represented Indiana twice now, uh, mm -hmm. Miss Indiana USA and then Mrs. Indiana. And then I competed for Miss Indiana America, which is the sure. Miss America organization. Mm -hmm. I did not get that title. I was second runner up, but that yes. scholarship that program. That was the time, the controversial time, wasn't it? No, nope, that okay. was USA, but okay. Miss okay. America put me through college. I earned enough scholarship money to graduate debt free. So sure, sure. that is also important to me. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, well, it's, it's good to have you here. Um, you're gonna inspire the people in all kinds of ways being right so. here on The Herd. This is just one way that she is a part of the people. Mrs. America, ladies and gentlemen, Michaela Eppers, uh, thank you for joining us. This has been an episode of The Herd. Thank you. You're welcome.